coming up on Tiger News, we'll take a look at how the Vegas mass shooting has affected the state of Tennessee. And also, find out why Tiger athletes' actions has resulted in arrest and dismissal from the team. Tiger News starts right now. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Tiger News. I'm Deborah Noel. And I'm John Prasak. Thanks for joining us. Stephen Paddock fired shots at a Jason Aldean concert in Las Vegas this past Sunday, killing 59 people and injuring more than 500. It is being called the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. The suspected gunman killed himself in the Mandalay Bay Hotel before police could arrest him. Nashville Fox 17 reported that Sonny Melton, a Tennessee resident, was one of the deceased. Melton graduated from Union University and was a registered nurse at Jackson Madison County General Hospital. Melton was attending the Route 91 Country Festival with his wife Heather, who said that he lost his life saving hers. University of Memphis President David Rudd sent a campus-wide email and expressed his sorrow of the lives lost in this tragedy. Rudd said, as we pause to grieve those lost and wounded and the countless families affected, we will explore ways that we might be able to reach out and help. Kindness always makes a difference. State Capitol and office buildings flags will be lowered half-staff on Friday, October 6th in the honor of those who died in the Vegas rampage. A University of Memphis football player was arrested last Thursday for robbing another student at gunpoint. Sean Rupert, a senior safety, was charged with aggravated robbery and bold burglary and possession of a firearm to commit a dangerous felony. The incident occurred on May 25th, but the victim didn't know who was responsible, so he didn't report it at that time. He realized Rupert was involved when he saw that Rupert was selling his stolen Xbox and MacBook on the online site OfferUp. Rupert was dismissed from the football team on September 29th. College parties are a part of some students' lifestyles, but gun violence at these gatherings has caused some U of M students to fear for their lives. During homecoming weekend, a fraternity hosted a party at 791 Avenue, located besides Cookout, a frequent fast food spot for some. Shots were fired outside of the function, creating dismay for partygoers. We're all having fun, carefree, and then all of a sudden, like we can all, like we we could all feel like the vibe of the party switch, and like in this moment, you know that something's wrong, and then you start like looking around, like are my friends okay? Like we need to get out of here. And basically, when we tried to like go outside, they were like, no, stop, you know, they're shooting out there. So we were basically trapped in there. If you can imagine this, it's like literally like the worst situation you could possibly be in like you literally think about like okay are we gonna however shootings at parties are not an unfamiliar thing for some of campus's students some believe that these situations can be prevented if parties required school ids and hired professional security for many for many university of memphis students staying safe on campus is a top priority an app introduced this past spring could help. Tiger News' Natalie Brewer has more. At the University of Memphis, crime prevention is a top priority. With a recent lighting upgrade in higher traffic areas and emergency service call buttons easily accessible, students can feel secure while on campus. Emergency call buttons like this one behind me can be found every 300 to 500 feet across the University of Memphis campus. Now, the new Live Safe app could help to fill the gaps in between. The Live Safe app gives students a one-touch connection to campus police, as well as features like location tracking and non-emergency tip reporting. The good thing about it, the nice thing I like, is like, you know, we got a complaint about a particular um, vehicle, and the person snapped a shot of the vehicle, including the license plate, and sent it to us. 
Chief Myers also said some things to remember to help you stay safe on campus are to unplug and put down your cell phone, be aware of your surroundings, and always trust your instincts. I have never personally felt unsafe, but I definitely wouldn't walk across campus at night by myself. I live across the train tracks, and I'm particularly stationed in the gather. So I'll walk across campus uh, pretty much every single day, mm -hmm. and for my night classes, I have my boyfriend come pick me up. While improving campus security will always be a priority at the University of Memphis, it's important for students to exercise their common sense while walking across campus in the daytime or at night. The Live Safe app is available for download on the Google Play Store and on the App Store. Reporting for Tiger News, I'm Natalie Brewer. The Live Safe app also notifies students and faculty of any type of crime that occurs on or around campus. The University of Memphis has welcomed a new king and queen. When we come back, find out who they are and how they feel about being campus royalty. Also find out the scoop on a local and unique ice cream shop that has become a popular spot for Memphians. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy. And giving up, impossible. And then we're going to turn the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. This is their world. There's nothing. And then they die. Go ahead, go, go, go. I'm a teacher. I make more. I'll be honest, your resume is not what I'm used to. I know. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need a hard worker. Good. I've got two part-time jobs and to help my parents pay the bills. I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but... Life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find, cultivate, and train a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Long live the king and queen of campus. The U of M has welcomed their new Mr. and Miss U of M. 21-year-old Matthew Bailey and 20-year-old Abigail Huber took home the crowns this year. The Mr. and Miss Homecoming title is an annual tradition at the school and it honors students who are most committed to the campus and community. The crowning ceremony took place during the Tigers football game last Saturday. It was honestly surreal and Maddie and I have talked, it still feels like a blur, like it just seems like it happened so quickly just to be on that field with all the other finalists in front of everyone was huge and uh, to hear my name just didn't even feel real and it honestly still doesn't. It was kind of like there, like hugging me and like, like kind of like painting down the crown it was like super awesome. In the next year of Regency, Huber and Bailey want to extend the homecoming title so that it is not just an award and they are currently planning a campus project together. Students sometimes find themselves looking for something sweet to eat and the, and the addition of a local ice cream shop has helped soothe those cravings. Opening this past summer, the 901 Scoop has already attracted buzz around the Memphis area. Similar to most ice cream places, they offer multiple flavors and toppings to their product. Closest to campus, we do fresh milk base, we do everything fresh from order, we're the friendliest, we have the best vibe in the place, the lights are on, the music is going, and we're actually one of the only ice cream places that actually cater to students because we have a college night, which is on Tuesdays from 8 to 12. Along with catering to the campus crowd, they also separate themselves because they don't have the typical type of ice cream. 
They prepare the treats in front of customers and make it from a milk well, base. Well, definitely to come try out the, the whole rolled ice cream concept, um, which is a new trend of, uh, of ice, ice cream, basically, that originated in Thailand, um, which um, I first saw it in Houston when I visited my granddad a couple years ago, uh, which that's what we work on these cold surfaces over here. Uh, so we like make it from scratch, you know, we're, we, uh, all the, uh, the milk base we make from scratch. So the, the whole concept is all natural, no preservatives made fresh to order type deal. Um, so, I mean, not to say it's a healthy ice cream, but it's a healthier option. The 901 scoop is located on Walker Avenue and it offers a 10% discount to students who show their campus ID. And when we come back, we'll look at how the Grizzlies open practice went. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. Hey, look, it's those guys. Some drinks. Uh, Are you good to try? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? You go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. calls me googly eyes. And you know you're beautiful, right? You know that? Even you are beautiful. I got bullied for wearing glasses. Share if you're against bullying. We put it out there, just took off. Three million people have shared this post. Don't let bullies get you down. I stand with you. My yeah. whole family's wearing glasses. Yay. I wear glasses and I'm proud. I even have the army on my team. All the kind comments brought my child joy. I don't feel thank you is enough. Thanks. Memphis Grizzlies fans had the chance to get their first look at the team this past weekend. The Grizzlies held their annual open practice for fans last Saturday at the Landry Center in South Haven. Before the pros took the court, kids participated in a basketball clinic hosted by Grizzlies Youth Basketball. Here, the kids got to practice shooting, dribbling, drills, and more. Soon after, the Grizzlies came out and held a scrimmage where fans got to see new team members, like former Memphis Tiger Tyreek Evans. Fans also got to see familiar faces, like point guard Mike Conley, who can do it himself or lob it up to teammates like James Enos for an alley-oop. The Memphis Grizzlies defeated Orlando Magic in the first preseason game at the FedEx Forum on October 2nd. You can purchase tickets for a Grizzlies game by calling 901-888-HOOP or by going online to grizzlies.com. And that's all the time we have this morning. Please join us again next week for another edition of Tiger News. Have a great day.